Taylor? Taylor, what are you doing? Sleeping? known the firemen who uh, raid my good stuff. Damn, that must have hurt. That must have hurt real bad. Not so powerful now, are you, most bad? Pigs are as smart as dogs. <laughs> Go to hell, you son of a bitch. Just shut your mouth and take me to the safe. I don't know what you're talking about. Giddy up, little piggy. <laughs> Wait, boy. What's wrong? I said, what's wrong? Hurry up. Get up. What? What's going on? I want 50 men outside in half an hour. Watch your ass. Whoa, stop! You're hurt. You need a doctor. I don't have time. What the hell's going on? Just get a parcel together! Been a robbery. The tail of the Dr. Cleese. Clay, what the hell 
do you think you're doing? I'm looking for three men that would have checked in yesterday or the day before. Wait, wait, wait. What are you going on about? Who else has stayed here? Nobody. Clay, what's wrong? Clay, what happened? Three men came into my barn, beat me half to death. That's what happened. What the girls all say about you? No. What do they say? I ain't telling. Come on. Mm -mm. <laughs> I ain't telling you but one thing. What's that? It's true. <laughs> he wants some. What is it with you and Mosby? Uh, don't ruin the air in here. We're just talking. Yeah. You have to talk about him? The Lord says, love thy neighbor as thyself. Uh, the Lord says a lot of things. If Mosby was needing help, and you're the only one who could help him. Would you? No. You don't mean that. Do you? Hey, Mosby. Welcome to my establishment. I'm looking for three men, and I want names. <laughs> no people coming in and out of here all the time, Mosby. You know everything that goes on around here. Now, don't make me ask twice. I lit explosives for the railroad. It takes a lot to scare me. I want their names, Harry. What are you talking about? Who... Who am I looking for? There were a couple of boys came through here. Who? I got two names for you. Bill and Bob McSween. Who the hell are they? Two brothers. Bank robbers from the Northeast. Sadistic boys. They were here? Bragging about it. What do you mean? They were talking about me? No. About the jobs they pulled. Oh, I see. They just come and go as long as they pay. Who cares? Is that it, Harry? Why didn't you tell me? Why? Easy, Mosby, settle down. What do you want from them? They were with another man, weren't they? There were three of them. There were? Yes. He stood there and watched it. He enjoyed it. I don't know what you're talking about. There was no one else with them. Mosby. You all right? Perfectly fine. If you're looking for the McSweens. McSweens? I don't know him. Just find him. We'll bring him in. How's Taylor? Uh, the doctor said he should recover. They have known. What? Everything. But where the safe was, who I was, three strangers couldn't have pulled this off. Where it is you hit one of them? Not the one who lives in this town. What are you talking about? He knew me, the other one. How do you know that? I just do. Get moving. It's all noise. 
There's been a robbery over at Mosby's. <laughs> it's been hurt bad. Is he gonna die? Cole. No, he ain't gonna die. You know he comes to me regularly. Well, I never knew that. He's an important man. Where are you going? To see if I can do something. Well, you can do something right here. You can speak plainer than that. I got the feeling today's the day I like to spend in bed. Put that damn thing down, McSween. Mosby's got half the countryside looking for you. He won't rest till he finds you. Just remember, Sheriff. You're in this just as deep. I want you to get the hell out of these parts. If I ever see your face again, I'll put you in the ground myself. That's a promise. Take it you're not open for business. Taylor's dead. What? They killed him. He never regained consciousness. Thank God. You. He died because somebody in my town betrayed me. There's no sign of him yet. I got more men searching. Good. Like funerals, Austin. What are you talking about? I can't stand it on the funeral. You make sure everyone is there for Taylor, and you make note of who isn't. They'll be hard to find. No, no, no. I hit one of them. They're not going anywhere fast. You know, Taylor has a wife. Yeah. Where are you going? I need more men. Well, I'm going with you this time. Fine. Austin? Yeah, stay a while. I gotta go. No, please. Please. What's this? It's a picture of me on my birthday. That's you? No, that's my mother. That's me. What's that? Who cares? It's nothing. I want to see what's going on. Oh, leave it. What do you need all them for? Is there something happening out there? So what? Most be ain't about. Kind of blurred. I couldn't keep still. You had to sit 45 seconds when the picture was being taken. <laughs> I still can't. Hand in my nature. The mother's real pretty. You got a frame for this? Nightfall. 
Clay? Clay? What the hell are you doing out here? Enjoying the view. You have any objections to that? Would it make any difference? <sighs> you know what I like? Those mountains. But those mountains are there. They always will be. <laughs> I don't like, I don't like sudden changes. Being surprised by people. <laughs> you know, it's kind of reassuring to know that every morning I can get up and look over here. And there you are. Lord of all you survey. What's your point? Can we still uh, count on you, Clay? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Well, the town is in an uproar. Good. It better be. We've had our share of robberies. Something different about this one? This time it happened to me. It's not what I meant to say. Clay, what happened last night? I told you what happened. Well, you look like hell. Clay, why don't you run and get cleaned up? When I'm ready. Is there a... There's something I can do. One of them lives in this town, in Curtis Wells. I know it. He's out there right this very minute laughing his fool head off. Well, you'll find him. These men don't realize who they've crossed. You know, it's not like this is the first beating you've ever taken. I know that. I spent the last year of the war in a Yankee prison camp. I know about beatings. I know how far a man... They broke a lot of good men. That was a long time ago. I will find the ones responsible for this. Mr. Mosby, I asked around like you said. It don't make no sense, but I heard something. What is it, Ike? Well, I'm coming to that. There was a fella that seen them over at the number 10. He swore it was them. Wait, whoa, whoa, hold on. Who are you talking about? The ones that done it. McSween's. He said that they was drinking with someone. Ready to go. Hold on, hold on. I just found out something. Uh, well, like I was saying, the McSween's. Uh, two days before it happened, I heard who they was drinking with. Who was it? Call. What is this? Try I don't keep much in the kitchen. Oh no, it's good. It's a uh, ragout de la tour d'argent. Tastes like stew. <sighs> Ain't you ever gonna get up? Now while you're beside me. Celebrating something? Are we? What are you doing here, Clay? Where were you last night, Cole? Here. Ain't that right, Flory? All night. You were drinking yesterday with the McSween brothers. So? They've got a bounty on their heads. I'm surprised you didn't pick that up. Well, as you can see, I don't work all the time. Where are they, Cole? Where are your buddies? I heard you took quite a beating. Your mind's starting to play tricks on you. They had some help. Let's go. He's no use to us. Did they say which way they were headed? No. You are going to tell me everything you know. Clay, don't. The day I come for you is the day you die. And you know it. Come on. Ain't me you need to kill. You're staying? What's the point? You paid for the day. Oh, I got my money's worth, all right. I don't see any point in you coming along. I'll be the judge of that. I can handle it. I'm not saying I can't. I mean, there's not many places we haven't looked. And I couldn't have gone as far as the mountains. But if they did, we're not going to catch them. You giving up on me, Cheryl? That's not what I said. I got his 
the one you said. You'd never heard of them. You. Of all people. This is where I hit the ground. Or rather, hit the wall. Taylor was lying there already. But over here, this is where you kicked me. You know, I could practically hear my ribs cracking. Could you hear that, Oz? How could I have? I wasn't there. Blacked out. Somewhere in here. After that pig of a brother. This is how he put the gun to my head. I think, I mean, you were there. Do I have the angle right? Why are you doing this? Shh, 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 shh. Torturing me first. Was that your idea? You must have enjoyed that. Are you enjoying this? Working for me all these years. You were top dog. Naturally, you thought you could get away with it. No. You're wrong. I wasn't there. Tell me the truth. You know the McSweens, don't you? Austin, somebody's gonna tell me. I would really like it to be you. I know him. That's better. Go on. I arrested him. You were... Why the hell aren't they in jail right now? I let him go. Why is that? Why else? They gave me money. How much? How much? A hundred. He sold me out for a hundred dollars. Now, I followed them out to the edge of town. I didn't know they'd come back and do this. Why don't you Oh, don't give me, me that! You were the one who never spoke. Well, who else knew about the safe under the piano? Or the gun in the safe? I wasn't there. Oh, come on, Austin. Just between you and me. Aren't you tired of being an order taker? A glorified lackey? <laughs> Look at you. You think you're so almighty powerful. <laughs> you are so scared. You ungrateful punk. I dragged you from the gutter so I can enforce your laws. Your pathetic laws. I beat men for you, innocent men, just to make you look good. God! How could I have been so stupid? I wish to hell I'd kick the life out of you. But I didn't do it. How dare you sit there and lie to my face? You got the wrong man. Well, that's a shame. Because you're the one I'm going to hang. Be. Can't do that. He's my son.
They've arrested the sheriff. For what? For helping you in the robbery. Ain't that rich. Takes the heat off you, don't it? You don't know Mosby. He ain't through. If he finds us, we'll hang for sure. As soon as you arrest him, we're gonna head north. We better head out soon. They're going back to town. You crazy. They arrested the sheriff. They're not gonna be looking for you. My brother's gonna travel. He's gonna need some medicine. I can't just walk into Doc Cleases and tell him I need something for a gunshot wound. You heard what I said. Mosby controls everybody in town. You think he ain't got the doc looking out for him? Ain't a good idea, Bill. If you had told us that Mosby had a gun in that safe, my brother wouldn't have been shot. I didn't know about no gun. You go back to town. Your friend, the Chinese man, Harry. He'll have what we need. Not right seeing you on that side of the bars. There's rat holes in these blankets. Remind me to tell the sheriff. I will when he gets his job back. I have the feeling this is gonna be all right. You don't exactly look good. Oh, the people of this town are tired of Mosby always getting his way. Mosby ain't likely to forget this. We'll see. Can I bring you anything? A shotgun in a file? I was thinking more along the lines of food. I love you, you know. Yeah. You didn't ask if I did it. Doesn't matter. You think I did it, don't you? What counts is you're my son. What counts is that you believe me. Seems hell bent on ruining my life. I know what you mean. Sure, they're really gonna hang Austin? Where the hell have you been? Out of town, that's all. When's the hanging? Why are you asking me? How the hell should I know? Just asking is all. What's a man gotta do to get peace in this town? Getting ready to open up again? After the funeral. When is that? Taylor's or Austin's. So, who's, uh, who's gonna be your new sheriff? Oh, Clay, you're not really gonna hang Austin without even a proper trial, are you? Austin tells me where those bastard brothers are. I'll let them stand before a circuit judge. No! Leave that. Clay, you are just dead set on fixing all this yourself, aren't you? Clay, are you sure you're not making Austin pay for things that maybe he didn't do. Things that happened back a long time ago. This has nothing to do with that. Doesn't it? No. Sometimes you have to put the past behind your call. What's that got to do with anything? I need your help. Do you know what they're gonna do to him? It ain't my concern. Listen to me. 
You can try that stone cold act on someone else, but you're part of this. And you're gonna help me because I've asked you to. Easy, Josiah. No, we don't have a lot of time. Look, Austin let me swing without blinking an eye. It's not perfect. But he doesn't deserve this, and you know it. Was he in on it? Can you say in your heart you believe he wasn't? I don't know. I don't care. Either way, he brought this on himself, and it's a long time coming. I didn't know the law worked that way. Accuse a man of a crime and then hang him for past sins? You know what I'm trying to say. All of a sudden, you're on Mosby's side. Leave me out of this. No. Look, I'm warning you, Josiah. You leave me be. No! What are you doing here? Beats the hell out of me. Why don't you leave? That's typical of you, ain't it? Let me share a secret with you, Cole. I never liked you much either. That your deathbed confession? Just might be. They're gonna stretch your neck. Ain't you figured that out yet? No fooling. What else am I thinking about in here? They're gonna kill me, and there's nothing I can do about it. You had them McSween boys. You let them go. All right. I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have let them go. And that's as far as it went. I swear. Ain't me you gotta convince, Austin. You believe me, though, don't you? I didn't say that. Call. I don't want to die. You can bust me out of here if you wanted to. Are you gonna help Mosby? Hello, Amanda. Are you? I wouldn't help him if he was on fire. <sighs> well, then Austin is gonna die. What's that to you? You sweet on Mosby or something? It doesn't much matter who I'm sweet on, Carl. Mosby's not himself, he's out of his mind. He won't hesitate for a second to kill Austin. I'll remember that. You know this ain't fair. You brought this on yourself. I'm innocent. Where are the McSweens? How should I know? You don't think I'll go through with this, do you? I know you're fool enough to do just about anything. You tell me the truth, and you will get your day in court. But you maintain this pretense of innocence, and I will hang you today. Then you will hang the wrong man. I trusted you! And you owe me better than this. Oh, you! You listen to me! All right. I've thought about it many times, but I never double dealt you. Never. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Cash? I've been working out at the Carter spread. Didn't think they were hiring. Here. You ain't worked since Mosby fired you, right? Give me the other bottles. Hey, Prentice. Never figured you to be one of Harry's customers. Just having trouble sleeping, that's all. Doing? Damn. I 
hear you ride in. Where's your brother? He's gone to get us a wagon. I can't ride like this. You got the stuff? We gotta get out of here. When's he coming back? I told you, when he gets the wagon. You're both crazy. I ain't waiting around. You're on your own. Put it down. Drop that gun belt. You too. I'm hurt. I'm hurt real bad. And take care I don't hurt you worse. Call. what's this all about? I'm taking you back to town. They threatened me. Said they'd kill me. Weren't my idea. You can tell that to Mr. Mosby. You got things wrong side up. You son of a bitch, Prentice. You're in this just as deep as we are. Come over here. Real slow. I'm coming over. I put my hands in the air so you can see them. You do that. Now everyone's going to be real peaceful. Downright pleasant. Got that, McSween? I do. Are you insane? Most likely. But I've never felt more sure about anything in my life. Now you put that away. Or your whole family is gonna die today. Your choice. Father, do what he says. No. I wanted them alive. There weren't no other way. Practice. He was your third man. Where's the other one? What have you done with the other one? He wasn't there. He's still alive? I guess so. He must have lit out on his own or something. No, no. No, they were brothers. He's coming back. Now, where did you find them? That depends. What are you going to do with Austin? Let him go. McSween. What rank were you? What the 
hell are you talking about? Where's my brother at? You were in the war, weren't you? Union side? Damn right. I was a corporal. Which unit? 24th Wisconsin. My, my. You must have enjoyed whipping the ass of a southern colonel. Where's my brother? I wouldn't do that. Your brother's dead. So is Prentice. And so are you. Then you better kill me now. So. What? I'm a colonel. You will address me as so. That you think you could shame me. Humiliate me. You and me both know what happened, Piggy. Get up. Every day they'd come. I'd hear the click of the key in the lock, and every day I would face up to them, to their beaten sp Some of the men would scream, but not me. I never gave them the satisfaction. Do you hear me, Corporal? Yes, sir. I had lost everything. My men, my country. What else was there left to lose? Well, I'll tell you what, Corporal. My dignity. Please don't kill me. You can live without a lot of things, but no man can live without his self-respect, his pride. They could not. Take that away from me. What made you think you could? I'm begging you. What? Does that hurt? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, sir! That's nothing. There's a certain kind of pain no man can survive. Damn you, most people. Does this seem unfair? Try it. What have you got to lose? That's right. You killed my brother, ain't that enough? I got a mom and father. I needed the money. Damn you, Mosby. Please. I don't want to die. I'm sorry. Please. 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 Now you live with that. <laughs>